Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Deer Corner. Crows are out. Sun's trying to get through the trees. It's about 6.30. Little dampness in the air. It's always damp up here every morning. But it feels good and enjoy it. That's something I like to talk about. And there's a saying, it's like a box of chocolates. You don't know what you're going to get. But if you don't enjoy doing it, why you do it? And it's the same thing up here. I enjoy sitting here on the porch, looking out, looking at what I have, looking at what I've done, looking at what I developed, and looking at what it became. And it takes work. And yeah, there's things I do not like to do up here, such as cutting firewood or weed eating or cleaning out the cabinets. And one day I'm going to figure that one out. Why do I have to clean out the cabinets all the time? I got a bad habit of putting things in the cabinet and they don't need to be in the cabinet. Actually, these be thrown away, but I'll put it in the cabinet. I think that's the how I was brought up. Don't throw nothing away. I can't call it a hoarder, but I say if I think I'm going to need it again, I'm going to keep it, and I may never use it. I got a bunch of that stuff around here, but I got my pad. I'm writing things down. What I'm going to try to get accomplished today, cutting firewoods in there. We're going to put out a deer stand today, or a good location for a new deer stand. And to me, that is something that needs to be done right away. It's on top of the list. And the reason on that is. If you go to bed at night and you're sleeping and I walk in and I put a chair in your living room, when you wake up, are you going to notice that chair's in your living room? Yeah, you will. Some of these deer here have been here for years. They know every crack, crevice, tree. And you put something different out there, they'll notice it. Well, well, they go by it. I've noticed they walk by it, but they're very spookish. They will look at it. So slapping a tree stand in up here around some of these older deer, right before hunting season, could ruin your hunt. So I like to get them in at least three to four months before hunting season. And we have some new ground up here. Uh, it's not new, but we don't have deer stands on it. So we're going to put a deer stand in on this one area today. Or we're going to locate an area to put it. Now how we're going to get it there, that's another story. That's another chore. But there are things up here that have to be done. You've got to clean out the wood stove, clean out the chimney, get it ready. Got to change the water filters, got to get that done. That's done every year. Get the cabinets cleaned out. Get the cobwebs, basically knock the cobwebs out. Because come deer season, I'm deer hunting. I'm not cleaning, I'm not washing, I'm deer hunting. So get it done. And this time of year too, the philodendrons and the mountain laurel are in bloom. And I don't know if some of you have been around it, but that's the worst pollen. For me, that's the worst pollen there is. It will plug me up. But in the mornings, with that real heavy dew, like it is in the morning, like this morning, it's fine, no problem. But you get around noon, oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. They're pretty to look at. But they'll knock your nose in the ground. They'll plug you up. 
It's a very, very heavy pollen. It's a very heavy, sturdy plant, too. That, you hardly kill it. But uh, getting back to if you like what you're doing, why do it? And uh, sometimes you don't like what you're doing, but you have to get it done. And I hear a lot about that in people at work. People in their jobs don't like their jobs. And, <coughs> and it does reflect on your work. If you don't like doing it, you're not going to do a good job. And uh, sometimes it's just best to move on to find something that you like. But then sometimes you have to look back at what you're doing and the reason why you're doing it. And then you'll find out the reason why you're doing it, such as raising your family, putting food on the table, buying your new vet, if that's what you're doing. It's a pleasure. So that job that you don't like actually becomes something different. Throughout the years I learned that. And throughout the years, that's the way I look at things. I don't look at it as a have to be or a want to be. I look at it as something that is a necessity. People today, they don't know what necessities are. And I'm not going to get into the political part of it or the religious part of it. But the necessity way of life, people have, well, actually, I'm not going to worry about it type attitude. And that's wrong. Don't worry about it. Somebody else will take care of it. That's wrong. <coughs> Especially today. Need to get a need to get in touch with your congressman and senator of your state and start letting them know what you think and what's going on. A lot of people they don't, haven't been doing that for years. Some of them, you know your senator, you know your gov governor, you, they couldn't tell you who it is. And that wasn't that long ago. 30, 40 years ago, they couldn't tell you who your mayor was. They didn't care. They couldn't tell you who their council member of the county, they, they don't care. But I don't want to get political. Basically, things are going to pot. Bottom line, things are going to pot. And it's just like up here. If I didn't take care of things and do things, this place here would go to pot. It wouldn't take long. But deer season's just around the corner, and if I didn't get out here and take care of my deer stands, my food plots, my plants, my trees, my fertilizer, so on and so forth, my deer hunting would go to pot. So if I treat my government the same way I treat my property up here for deer hunting, things would be okay. But I'm just myself. Everybody needs to do it. Beautiful morning. That sun's still trying to poke through the trees. And I'm starting to ramble it on, but I'll bring you along. Get out, do the deer stand, and uh, give my reasons why I'm putting the deer stand up, where I'm putting it up. And got a squirrel coming down. <clears throat> had visitors last night. And that's one thing up here. You got to keep things off your porches. Um, you can't have anything left over up here. With the coons that get it, they were on the porch last night rustling around. And there's a big bear up here. 
got a picture of a bear and I'm going to bring it up and show you. It's a pretty good sized bear. A couple days ago. And he was right off the edge of the porch and I'd like to, I'll bring a photo of that up. But if you don't keep things, again, that goes with necessity, your trash. If you don't keep it cleaned up and hauled off, like some people, they put it in a bag and just throw it outside. Well, I'll get it later. I'll get it later. And pretty soon they got a pickup truck load of trash thrown outside. And then a bear and coons get in it, and it's all over the neighborhood. But uh, that's laziness, too. But I'm starting to rattle on. I'm glad you're with me. Go ahead and subscribe. And I'm going to sit here and enjoy my cup of coffee, let the sun come up, and figure out what we're going to do next. And I appreciate the subscribers. I really do. If you have a comment or you want to learn something or know something, write it down. Let me know. Leave it in the comment section. I'll get back with you. So, you all have a good day. I plan to.